Sup guys, Josh again. I'm super, super excited about this tutorial. Today I'm gonna to teach you guys about logic. We're gonna learn a couple things and how to make things work in your video game. And you can do this with anything, anything, I'm serious. But let me just show you guys a couple really neat tricks and we're gonna work with lights today. So check it out, if I press play, so you can right click and just play from here. I got my guy running around this room. You know, you can, I've got four walls, you know, you, know, you can't really see the other three, well, but it's kind of reflective. Uh, you may be able to see me chilling. Uh, this is just a guy that they start you with. You, you definitely don't want to use him, but it's for testing purposes, you know, just to get you started. But anyway, I'm walking around here. You can see what's going on. We're going to put some lights in this map, okay? In fact, for now, we're just going to add one. I pressed escape to quick. You got a few things here. We're going to go to point light. That's what I want. I'm going to just drag it into the world and set it up against this wall just like that. We are going to affect that light a lot. We're going to do some serious things to it. So for now, watch. I'm gonna, while it's down here, while I've got it selected, these are my details over here. I'm going to turn the visibility off. It's off. We're going to turn it on with logic. You know what I'm talking about? All right, so here we go. Let's jump straight in. The way you do logic in Unreal Engine 4 is what's called blueprints. It's like it's kind of like the material editor. You plug codes into codes, all node based with wires. So we're going to click blueprint and open the level blueprint. That's just, there's two different kinds, but we're gonna work with this one today. So let's jump in and say, hey, what do we wanna do? How about this? At the beginning of the level, we're going to turn that light on after two seconds. That's what we're gonna do. So we need an event, and we need that event. We tell this event what to do, but at begin play, event begin play, when this event happens, we need something to happen. So we need a delay. So let's drag a wire. We need a delay of two seconds. Type in delay. You see delay there. I'm going to go two seconds. I like that. Now, we need to get our light bulb. All you do is go in here, grab your light, and if it's, if it's selected, you can right-click in the level blueprint and grab a reference to it. So now we can drag a wire from it and tell it what to do. What did we do earlier? We turned the visibility off. So let's just drag a wire and type visibility. You see toggle visibility here? That's exactly what we want. Always plug in your execution wires. These are what's firing. All these things have to be connected, but these are what's firing. So it's saying on event begin play, wait two seconds and toggle the visibility of the point light. We'll try it ourselves. We'll get right here, right click, play, there I am, and bam, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Do it again, super slow-mo, bat. My timing's off. All right, so we're gonna do more things. So let me show you a couple more tricks. We've, you know, we've, we've jumped in. Let's go back to the light here and let's turn that bad boy on. Let's just keep him on. From now on, we're gonna do something a little more complicated. I wanna change its color. Forget the delay. Click it, get rid of it. We'll we're just gonna plug this thing straight in like that. Actually, we're not gonna need that toggle visibility either, but we are gonna need to change the color. Just type in what you're looking for. Color. I see set light color. That's, that's gonna do it. So we need to set the light color. This is a little confusing. You need to know a little programming. Now we could just set it to be any color we want, but every time it starts, I want it to be a different color. So I'm gonna drag a wire from this and type make color. And it's giving you your red, blue, and green and alpha channels. Don't worry about alpha, but red, blue, and green, we need these three to be random. And if you see a green input, it's a number that is a decimal point, which means it's called a float. So type in random float in range. And we're gonna need another one. So control W while it's held. Maybe try again, control W while it's held. And it'll give you another one and we'll plug that. In. And another control W while it's held and we'll plug into that one. And then we'll basically just set it from zero to one. Zero being no red, green, or blue, and one being full red, green, or blue. So now it's just, check it out. On event begin play, we are going to set the light color to be a random color. Let's do it a couple times. You ready? Play from here. Bam, it's a red. Press escape, try again. There we go. It's a blue, huh? Press escape, try again. Wow, blue again. How exciting. Ouch. One more thing. I just got to show you guys this. I wasn't going to go too deep into it, but we're going to just... Instead, we're gonna make this light flicker full speed, just random colors at maximum speed, and there is an event node just for that. Let's get rid of that trash, delete. There's an event called event tick. Uh, you have to be able to spell to use the Unreal Engine 4, and I'm just I'm letting you guys know that way ahead of time so you don't get your hopes up if you forgot to, you know, whatever. Anyway, event tick is saying every frame that is being processed, I'm going to switch I'm going to do this. 
So think about it. Every frame, we're going to switch collars. Bam. Let's go here. Right click. Play from here. Oh, yeah. You ain't been to the 70s, but now you have. And it's as literally as simple as this. If I hold Alt and then drag, I copy that light. And I drag one over here. And then I'll hold Alt and drag one over here. And then, you know, sloppily, I'll hold Alt and drag another one over here. So you got four lights. Well, you can type in light. And there's our four point lights. Just select them all by holding Shift. And now go in here and create a reference to all of them. So now we can plug all four of these lights in. And yes, you guessed it. Read the code. On every tick, take all four of these lights and set the light color to be this, which is random. And if we jump in here, right click, play from here, bam. The 70s. You're a fan, I'm a fan. Disco era. It's coming back. I know you guys don't care, but it's coming back. Thank you guys for watching. Logic. Blueprints tutorial number one. Gonna just slowly but surely open up the, open up the, or just break the ice here. Kind of give you guys an idea of what all you can do with the Unreal Engine 4 when it comes to Logic. But yeah, just playing around. I hope you guys learned something. Um, please check out the YouTube page and like our Facebook page. We are still continuing development and I'll keep you guys updated but thanks for watching have a good day